Hello, my name is Morgan and I am a registered nurse here to share with you important information following your oral surgery. Our team is honored to be working with you to obtain the oral surgery results you desire. To obtain optimal comfort and successful recovery after your surgery, please follow these simple post-operative instructions. Discomfort is normal after oral surgery. Patients will be provided with a prescription for a pain-relieving medication prior to surgery. We suggest that the first dose of this medication be taken approximately two hours after surgery before the anesthetic has worn completely off to manage the discomfort. Please remember to have a small amount of food in your stomach before taking this medication. As the day progresses and the discomfort lessens, non-prescription strength Tylenol or a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication such as ibuprofen or Motrin can be used in place of the prescription strength. Gauze pads should be placed directly over the extraction sites and held with firm biting pressure. Do not change the gauze for the first hour unless the bleeding is not controlled. If bleeding persists after the first hour, remove soaked gauze, replace with new gauze, and repeat firm biting pressure for another 30 to 60 minutes. If the bleeding persists after that, you may substitute the gauze with a moistened tea bag wrapped in moist gauze for 20 to 30 minutes. The tannic acid in the tea will help the blood vessels to contract and slow the bleeding. If the bleeding remains uncontrolled, please contact our office. Proper placement of the gauze will help to reduce swallowing blood that can make you feel nauseated. Before inserting new gauze, you will want to fold the gauze pad in half and then in half again, making it in fours. Carefully open mouth and place the folded gauze over the affected area and firmly bite down. When the gauze pads have little to no blood on them, they are no longer necessary. We normally tell patients not to keep the gauze in longer than 90 minutes, and when the blood is mixed with saliva, it may look worse than it is. Most of your bleeding will slow within three to four hours, but a small amount of bleeding is normal, up to 24 hours. Swelling is normal after oral surgery and is one of the major causes of post-surgical discomfort. Swelling usually peaks around the third post-operative day and will then start to resolve. Swelling can be reduced by the use of an ice pack. Apply the ice pack to the affected side of your face for 20 minutes. If both sides are affected, then switch to the opposite side for another 20 minutes. Continue to ice the face for 24 hours. If an ice pack is not available, frozen vegetables or other frozen goods mold to the face well. Just remember to place gauze pads or a small towel on the face before icing to prevent freezing of the skin. After the first 24 hours, it is best to switch from ice to heat. A heating pad, hot water in a bottle, or a moist towel heated in the microwave for one to two minutes will provide comfort and help aid in the reduction of swelling. In addition, keeping your head elevated on two pillows for two to three days will help reduce swelling. To help with medication tolerance and reduce the chances of nausea, we recommend you eat right away after surgery. Start slow with soft foods such as broth, creamed soup, mashed potatoes, pudding, yogurt, eggs, or milkshakes for the first two to three days. Diet can gradually be expanded as tolerated. It is important to avoid extremely hot foods the first 24 hours. Your mouth will remain numb after surgery and you will want to prevent any burns inside the mouth. No brushing or vigorous rinsing of your mouth should be performed on the day of your surgery. Begin gently rinsing and brushing your teeth 24 hours after surgery. It is important to brush all teeth and gums. Good oral hygiene is essential to good healing. You will also want to start salt water oral rinses the day following surgery and continue for one week. Rinse mouth with warm salt water. We recommend sea salt three to four times per day, ideally after meals to flush food out of surgical areas. To make salt water solution, dissolve one half teaspoon of salt in a small glass of warm tap water. After your surgery, it is very important to avoid the following for seven days. Spitting, sucking through a straw, carbonated beverages, smoking, crunchy foods like chips, nuts, seeds, oatmeal and popcorn, or any touching of the wounds and stitches. You may feel the dissolvable stitches rub against your tongue or cheek. 
The sutures will soften during the first week and dissolve in seven to 14 days. Unless told otherwise, do not partake in vigorous physical activities for three days following surgery. Physical activity increases your blood pressure, which can cause an increase in swelling, pain, and bleeding. The largest complication that may arise from a tooth extraction is the formation of a dry socket. A dry socket is a condition that may result after a tooth extraction if the blood clot that normally fills the socket is lost. The dry socket leaves the underlying nerves exposed, which is very painful. If you have any questions regarding any of the information received during these videos or in the instructional paperwork that you received at the office, please feel free to call us. Also, additional information can be found on our website, ArizonaOralSurgery.com.